Alright guys, this is gonna be a, not like a full tutorial, so, um, uh, this is gonna be like a general overview of how Mania works, how Mania functions, how to do the funny 4K, um, covering mainly Mania, because that's mainly what I play, but this applies to most 4K games as well. So the general basis is, you know, notes come down, you hit notes, funny. But, for most, uh, generally, the 4K games, the way you play is you hit notes when notes, for most, it's when note is on other, it's like, there's like an outline, and you wait till the note is inside that outline, and then you hit it. That's how, generally, how 4K games work. And the footage, um, it kind of shows better than me explaining it. But, basic, basically, you know, you know, the funny circle go down, the goal is to hit it when it's in the circle, to hit a perfect. If you hit it when it is close, it um, will be a great instead. But when it is, it, it differs from skin to skin in Mania. So sometimes it will that will happen. Uh, other times it won't. It just depends on the skin. Sometimes it's a little bit weird like that. Jokes on you guys. This isn't just going to be a tutorial video or uh, like a basics. It's also going to give you some, you know, advice. Uh, and some more information, of course. But generally, the way you play 4K is, yeah, I got your keyboard here. I'm not drawing the whole keyboard because I'm lazy. But um, you got your keyboard here. Your four keys you're using for 4K. Generally, you want keys that are right to four that are like very close to each other. Usually, you want some form of like at least like one key of separation here, so you don't accidentally hit the other one or your fingers are really close together. If you do it like that, basically two fingers for each one. Two fingers from your left hand, your middle finger, and your finger closest to your thumb. I'm an idiot, so I don't know what that is. Uh, those go here from your left hand, and these will be for your right. If you, there Generally, you want at least one key of separation between them, though. If you have them right next to each other, your fingers will be touching, and that can, uh, that can be put unpleasant. I use ASFG. A S and it's separated by D, so your fingers are not. If I just did A S D F, your, your fingers would be touching, and it would be really kind of annoying. There isn't a lot of mo room to move around, but I, you use whatever's it's best for 4K to find your own keybinds and to figure out what works for you easiest or best. Along that's the same with skin too, because the timing for each skin can be different. The judgment line for Mania. And it's all up to how you play. You can change your scroll speed too with F3 or slash F4. F4 uh, four increases. I use scroll speed 16 because it makes the notes easier to hit, in my opinion. But and that's also entirely up to you, whichever makes it e is easiest for you to use. Yeah, but those are. Uh... All right, the next big thing is uh, that you need to learn about is your keybinds. Um, well, that's actually the learning your keybinds is one of it's the most important part, but that's the one that you can't really do anything to speed it up. It just takes time. So, like, you, you just use the same keybinds to get used to them. It just takes time to learn them. But once you get used to your keybinds, there's another big thing, uh, which is patterns. Um, and that'll be pretty much the rest of the video, just basic Osu Mania patterns, slash 4K patterns that are fairly com very, very common and are very, very important. I'll just go cover the basics now. Um, uh, there's single notes where you know you just hit them, and then there are hold notes. Hold notes are like single notes, but except you need the hold for the whole duration, and like like for everything else, for every skin it has a different way. Like usually when you you have to hold it, it counts for it gives you a, a score perfect for depending on when you hit it, and um a, a, a note rating based off of when you hit it and when you let go. So when you let go matters. So that is something that you need to focus on and you need to learn for it's different for each skin. So that's also something that needs to be learned. Alright guys, these are going to be some of the basic patterns which are very important to learn. Oh wow, I did this retarded. No. Oh uh, fart, I don't know what I'm doing guys. You, you, you know that. You, uh, if you've seen this video, you probably know me. Uh, you know I do. Um, I'm a little bit brain dead. That's uh... Kind of my thing, one of the circles is bigger, okay. Basically, one of the first most important pattern we're going to be talking about, which, one of once, these are something you have to learn. They aren't as prominent in game, in like, F and F, but they are, these are very important. So these notes, these note combinations, or these note patterns. 
they are referred to as doubles, which are just any two notes at one time. Or, well, generally when you say doubles, that's what people think of. It can be like this, like this, like this, or like, uh, you know, I'll just change the color. It could be like this. It could be like this, like this. But you have to hit both of those notes at the same time. In the song that I'm currently playing, I was playing in the gameplay, there are a lot of those. And they're mixing with another pattern we're going to talk about. But just, just to, like, to bring them up, they aren't very common in easier songs, but are as common. They're called, they're like doubles, they're like the evolved version of doubles, or triples. Which are like doubles, but a lot, lot harder. Okay, you know what, oh, bro, fart, I cannot draw circles for my life. Which are like, they're exactly like doubles, except there's three notes instead of just two. They usually come like this, like this, like this, or, you know. Those are a lot harder to hit, especially when they're all very, very... Wait, no, no, right here. I am so stupid. What is... What am I doing? It's gone. It, it, pretend it's gone, guys. Pretend it's gone. Okay. Um, Yeah, like this. And those are very hard to... Sometimes very hard to hit, especially when there's tons of them in a high BPM song. Very close to each other, mixed in with all the other stuff. It can be very difficult to hit. And then the final pattern, which is has all you hit all the notes at once. This is a lot easier than triples because it simply just hit all your keys. Just push down all your key binds at once. Not not that difficult. But the pattern that is you know no 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 don't don't do it. The pattern that is hard is uh, the next most important pattern, which is actually pretty difficult. These are very, very important. Once I learned these, I, once I um, I used to play arrow keys, and once I switched to learning like actual keybinds, um, these were patterns that I had to learn, which were at the time one of the most important, which I did end up learning through row beats. Believe it or not, row beats. But the pattern they were referred to as roll ups. You got a circle here, a circle here. A circle here, and then a circle like all the way up here. They're usually sometimes evenly spaced. Sometimes they'll do you dirty and just do like a this, and then they'll do like two really close to each other. In the in the song I was playing, Ghost, they mix in. There are a lot of rollouts. They can go this way or the other way. But there were a lot of rollouts, and they were mixed in with doubles. But rollouts are a very important pattern, especially in easier songs. Even when they're slow, they can still be pretty tricky. And they can, if they're fast, they can be even worse. There's like the de-evolution of a rollout is just a triple. It's like a, it's like a rollout, like a not complete rollout. There's a lot of things that'll come from rollouts. So rollouts are a very important pattern to know. Then a bonus pattern is a, it's a jackhammer. I wouldn't know. I. Don't know the exact. I haven't seen it much because they're usually in really insane maps, and I'm not that good. I can play like averagely hard songs, but I'm, I'm not like going pro. Nowhere near. But like those are the pretty much basic patterns. Those are just a couple basic patterns. There are a bunch of others like that are just that I didn't include because they aren't as important. Like for example, just like something like this. This pattern isn't isn't as common, but you know, like blue, 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 like this, like just. I'm kind of rambling at this point. Eh. All right, so that's most of the patterns. Um, I could make another example, giving some like real examples, and, like kind of things that people use that for in songs, like this like more complex patterns but for now I think I'll just let the rest of the video I know I didn't say much and it was kind of sh it's kind of long for like no reason it's mainly basic for people who know like absolutely nothing about 4k but it, I'll just let the rest of the video show go and now that you know some of the pattern or like you know what to look for you can kind of see them if you now that you know and yeah <laughs>
world. Was that full? Was that FC? Was that FC? That was FC, my guy. Okay, okay.